Hello, welcome to another chemistry video. This one is on empirical formulas. Our question of the day is determine the empirical formula of a compound composed of calcium, oxygen, and hydrogen. And again, this or these amounts. We have 13.5 grams of calcium, a little less than 11 grams of oxygen, and 0.675 grams of hydrogen. An empirical formula is pretty much the uh, it's the elements in a in a compound that are uh, reduced to their lowest whole number ratios. Uh, we'll get to that part when we start doing some calculations. But in the hydrate lab that you did with the uh, with the copper sulfate or with the magnesium sulfate, it's the same. What, or basically, how you determine the number of molecules attached to the hydrate was you turned the grams of the anhydrous and the grams of water into moles, and then you found a ratio. We are going to approach this problem the exact same way, and again, since we are in the mole unit, we're going to do that. We're going to convert each of these grams into moles. Alright, so I've set up some uh, mole conversions for us. Got calcium in green, oxygen in red, maybe that looks orange, I don't know. Uh, hydrogen in blue. Note here that oxygen and hydrogen, I know they're diatomic molecules, but we're just worrying about uh, elemental oxygen, so not uh, O2. Same thing with hydrogen, just H itself. So we're doing 16.00, 1.01. We're just dividing by the molar mass. So if we do 0.13.5 over 40.08, Using sig figs, we're going to get 0.337 moles of calcium. The oxygen will do 10 point, whoops, 10.8 over 16. We'll get, oh, that's nice, point, exactly 0 0.675 moles of oxygen. And if we do 0.675, uh oh, oh no, I'm not going to go 0.675 over 1.01, 1 .01. we're going to get 0.668 moles of H. Get out of there. All right, awesome. So what does this mean? Well, our mole ratio for this compound, whoops is 0.337 moles of calcium to 0.675 moles of oxygen to 0.668 moles of hydrogen. That's an awful way to, uh, to show a ratio with all these decimals. So we're gonna do it a better way by dividing each of these by the smallest mole amount. That's how you find a ratio. You want something to one, like two to one or three to one. You don't want 0.675 to 0.337. That doesn't, that, that's, that's lame. So we're going to divide each of these by the smallest amount. Obviously, the smallest amount will be 0.337 moles. So we're going to divide each. Oh, it is hard to write when you've got a camera or a phone right in front of you. More difficult than it seems. So we're going to divide each of these by, oh wow, 0.337. All right. Now this obviously is going to be 1. This one, if we plug it into your calculator, you get 2.003. All right. Is that close enough to 2? Uh, of course it is. All right. That's close enough to 2. And if we look at this number, 0.668 is really close to 0.675. That's also going to be, oops, close enough um, to 2. All right. So what we've done is we've determined our ratio. For every one atom of calcium we have in this compound, we have two atoms of oxygen and two atoms of hydrogen. Awesome. We can use these ratios, to, or this ratio, to determine the empirical formula of the compound. So there's two ways to write this possible one. The first is the most common way, which we're just going to write CaO2H2. All right, that's what it is. You've got one or one calcium, two oxygens, two hydrogens. So it only makes sense to do CaO2H2. 
Or, if you're feeling very formulaic and name uh, happy, you can realize that calcium is always a 2 plus charge, and OH is the anion in this case, and maybe, just maybe, it can be calcium hydroxide, in other words, CaOH2. Now, I would only ask for that, maybe, you know, I wouldn't ask for that all the time. Maybe sometimes I will. But uh, in this case, just to start, one calcium, two O's, two H's. <clears throat> what if you get a ratio that's not two, but like two and a half? Because that could happen sometimes. That's awkward. We'll get to that in a different video. But in this case, it's really just turning the grams into moles, making a ratio. All right, that's it. <clears throat>